As an Impressionist, Monet painted to invoke the feeling and sense of a place over a realistic portrayal of his subjects to convey the same information. This speaks to the power of the senses to interpret our world, not just the mind. For a few moments, Let's use our senses to transport ourselves, shift the state of the mind, and maybe the quality of our emotions. We'll tap into our intuition more so than intellect here. Start by finding a comfortable position for your body for the duration of this observation, somewhere with minimal distractions and that feels supportive so you can relax any physical tension. Take a few centering deep breaths, purposefully and gently calling in longer inhalations and releasing smoother exhalations. If your eyes were closed for this, allow them to softly open and begin to slowly notice the world around you with each sense, one at a time. Keep breathing as deeply as you can. Notice and hear the sounds around you. See how far away you can extend this and then draw it back in. How closely can you hear? Look around the space you are in. Notice your environment one object at a time. Take your time. Now smell and taste the air. Tap into these senses and notice what you find. Lastly, touch. Feel all the points of contact that your body is making with the ground, with a chair, or if your hands are touching something. Now that you are more tuned into your senses, purposefully shift all of your focus, attention, and awareness to the painting. We'll start with slow and intentional looking. Take your time to feel where your eyes are drawn, pausing and looking closely at each part of the piece that sparks your curiosity. Maybe you systematically trace your way along the painting from side to side, top to bottom. Either way, as you take it in, try not to allow your analytical mind to chime in or take over. Keep gently dropping into your body instead. Notice the colors, the texture, the movement, brush strokes, and so on. As you do this, notice how it makes you feel. In your own time, invoke each of the other senses one at a time again. Begin to fully absorb the painting and maybe even find yourself in it at these cliffs. Look at the water and hear the sounds of the ocean. Is it a gentle lapping of water or the crashing of waves on the surf? Maybe gulls or other seabirds sing out overhead. Feel a gentle, cool evening breeze coming off the water. Feel the light warmth of the sunset on your face and arms, and maybe the sand or beach stones beneath your feet. 
taste the salt in the air and smell the salt water. How does this feel? Do you have a sense for the place, time of day, and what it might have been like to be there in person? Is it calming or invigorating, or both? Keep gently coming back to feeling over analyzing. Whatever emotions arise here, see if you can keep breathing deeply into and through them. Can you stay present no matter what surfaces? Take five more deep, full breaths here, continuing to softly focus all your awareness on these ocean cliffs at sunset. observation practice of tuning into your senses and purposefully choosing where to place your attention. Blink your eyes a few times and shift your attention and senses to the world and space around you again. As your awareness returns from your travels, see if you can still anchor into a sense of being embodied. <laughs> 